or very ominous, mm. isn't it? I mm. mean, you know, the birds. Very dramatic. Shit, it's very birds. quite. It's very dramatic. Oh yes, yes, very, very dramatic. Could you say like they play on the stereotypes a bit? Because like you've got the old lady that comes and talking about the station and thinking, you know, oh god, it's just a bit of old cobblers. Yes, absolutely, they do. Oh yes. Anything else? What, I mean, maybe, you know, what makes it British, if you like? I mean, you know, we know this is a British film, not just because they speak English, but, you know, what makes this British, culturally British? The sense of humour. I think so, too, definitely, yeah, yeah. You've got, like, the steam trains that have gone the Texas and the Atlanta house, but you've got the rain coming out of nowhere. It's raining. Yes. Quite nice, and then... Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Like the cobble street and the houses. Yeah, and the police station, it's so British, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not quite the same today, but for quite a few decades, not that I was around, but, you know, the, the, the police were, were, were sort of regarded as, you know, the, the, the friendliest kind of gentlemanly-like people you could find. and. Uh, they were. Going off what you said about the gentlemen, it's sort of like the way they talk to each other, like, oh, good day, and all sorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so because they're so nice to each other, everybody's so nice, you know? And that is that is sort of quintessentially British, really. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a while ago. Yeah, because, like, the policemen, like, they see you coming, and it's like, they're kind of like, oh, God, no. But it's sure. really polite, like, from love, and it's not unpleasant to see you. And, like, yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So much. And what about? Yes, it's true. And what about? What about visually? I mean, I don't just mean cobbled streets and so on. I mean camera, maybe, or color, or whatever. What What struck you? They use a lot of high angle shots. Yeah. And yeah. they like to folk, and they like to focus not just on her but on her surroundings yes, as well famous. and a lot of tracking shots as well because when you know she's walking up the main high street and she's saying good day to everyone yes it was actually following her, follow her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. camera yeah yeah and we of course ask the audience yeah yeah exactly anything else what about this idea of the of the, of the sort of shadow when do we see the shadow for the first time Absolutely, at the shop, the advert, room to, to let or rent or something. <coughs> exactly. And we see it several more times. Yes? Okay. And everybody, you know, well, not everybody, but her, 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 um, her birds, you know, react to it in a, in a sort of negative alarm sort of way, you know. And she is completely oblivious. And she thinks everybody that comes, everybody she meets is just a nice guy. And does he, I mean, it doesn't look it, does he? It doesn't really look like the most, you know, sort of nicest person that you should welcome into your house. But she's so nice. She doesn't do question and she's like, come on in. She doesn't exactly come into my house, exactly. Uh, yeah, well, because there's a matter of life and death. And it's, and I've just noticed that, just one that they're both Wallace and Chronic films also. I've got the Wallace and Chronic, the, the matter of love and death, and then the Royal Trousers is based on the same movie. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well spotted. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. But that is, that is a homage to these films, isn't it? I mean, it really shows how important they were. Yeah, yeah, and how British, if they're still, you know, remade, as it were, or referenced, or whatever, quoted in today's films, which they are, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, if you haven't seen The Lady Killers, I can only recommend it. The remake's set. It's free yeah. online, so you can, you know, you can get it from anywhere. It's a really, really brilliant film. The remake of The Lady Killers. And it's, to me, it is, it is, a, it is very, very British, very black humour. And it's a black humour. Very black. <laughs> no, it gets blocked out, it gets a lot blocked out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Exactly. So anyway, that was just an example of the, of these, uh, of the post-war Ealing comedies. Probably, maybe the most, most famous one, but there are others, you know, very famous ones. Okay. Um, and, and of course, Alec Guinness. In fantastic form. <laughs>
so anyway, we, 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 um, no, we have, we'll have a break now. That's what we'll do.